Hey everybody, welcome back to Battle Ready Inc., the channel all about bringing you as much nerdy content as possible. Uh, for, for you today, I have a video on managing your dragon inventory. I know it's a little bit of a weird topic, but uh, there, it is kind of an issue that you can run into when, you're, when you do a whole bunch of egg hatching all at once and your inventory is just so overfilled that you can't do any other content until you manage it. So I'm going to show you what I personally do and how I go about uh, getting it all back in check uh, so I can get back into the game and back to battling. Alright, let's see what we got here. As always, if you're new to the channel, uh, please like the video and subscribe if you aren't already. If you enjoy Dragon Village M content, I try to put out a uh, Dragon Village M video every single week, at least once a week, sometimes more. Um, and we also do other nerdy content on the channel, so it might be worth sticking around just seeing what, what we do every week to try to change things up. Um, also, if you really enjoy what I do and, and want to see more and more content, uh, check out in the description below for my Patreon link. Uh, there you can uh, support me and uh, I can make more videos with more support as well as you can get featured on the channel and access to the discord server where we talk about uh, Dragon Village M and strategize and all that kind of fun stuff so uh, check that out as well but let's see what we got here so this is my inventory of all my stuff right I got a lot of junk here uh, guard dragon right here he, or power dragon I keep saying guard dragon uh, power dragon he is going to be what we're going to try to turn into a 6 star. So that's going to be one of our focuses for today. But if you see, my inventory is at 186 out of 110 up here in the top. And we need to go figure that out. This is right after we did a whole bunch of egg hatching. So what I do, right? So I've got these guys here. So I pulled some, some Nat 5s, but not all these Nat 5s is stuff I want, or stuff I need, really. So, like this Water Hades. I could use him for a skill up. That is a, a possible thing, but I hate using 5 stars for skill ups. It's so hard to make a 5 star, usually, that just turning one into a, a skill up isn't really worth it when there's so many ways in this game to get the little purple skill up... Um, like slime right so I don't I don't use those for uh, for five stars so I'm gonna unlock him so that way I can use him for turning a five star into a six star yep that's what we're doing here uh, and then so then what I do I go in here and I look at stuff I don't know right so I'll go in here and check out this guy so uh, leadership ability accuracy up not really great uh, fire party cannons to inflict damage 100% chance to decrease targets Accuracy already no. I do like this though. So every 12 seconds, gain one mana. That's a nice for a support type thing. Uh, increase allies evasion. It's only two allies, and it's going to be random. You don't even get a pick. Um, and then, well, granting a barrier is pretty nifty, but it's only when you use his drag skill, and his drag skill is pretty lousy. So. This party dragon is going to be uh, unlocked and used for fodder somewhere else. Let's see. Cupid dragon, so he's a support type. Go in here, look at his skills. Um, wow. Increase, oh, increase accuracy, critical evasion, and attack. So those are really random things there. Not really, doesn't really line up. It's not like it was, you know, attack, attack speed, and crit rate. You give me something like that that I can use, then we're talking. Um, but as as it is, it's very random, all over the place buffs. That's not that great. Um, two mana recovery rate. Oh, that's pretty nice though as a passive. So stuff like uh, the Garuda Dragon that I, I used to use a lot. Uh, this makes it so that way anyone with a with two cost mana skills will trigger that uh, double recovery rate. So that's, that is pretty awesome, I can't lie. Um, 
inflict damage to a random enemy. Each bullet has 70% chance to inflict dot damage. Uh, not bad, not bad. Uh, 15 seconds and it's the entire enemy team. Uh, remove barrier effect from target. Eh. That, that, that's, that might be worth at least hanging on to. I'll, I'll come back to that. A shooting star, water type, I already have one, so I'll go ahead and unlock that. Um, Titan here, defense type, well, we'll hang on to it for now. Alright, so we've got some stuff unlocked. Let's see if we can clear out some of this inventory now. So we'll go back to the dragon that we're currently trying to turn into a six star. That will be, where do you go, there he is, the power dragon. So we'll go in here to rank up. So we have enough. There's those three that we just unlocked. And then that one there, which we, we powered up. And then we have these uh, psyker dragons down here. So there we go. And so these are all a bunch of extra stuff I powered up just for fodder. didn't have to stomp. And boom, rank up. So there we go, turn him into a six star. And then immediately following this, so he's level one right now, he's not going to do me any good, so I'm going to go in here and go into level up. So I've got all this extra stuff here, so do that. Uh, I am going to keep these uh, two stars, I'm not going to use them for fodder. Um, just because what I'm doing right now is I'm at that point in the game where I'm trying to get more diamonds and uh, and evolving right now is giving me diamonds so turning these you know plain gold stars into purple stars and then the purples into the uh, the red ones so baby dragon into the uh, mature dragon and then adult dragon and stuff so that's a good way to uh, clear out my book and get uh, diamonds that way so what I'm gonna do instead is gonna go in here and use my three stars. Yep, I'm using three stars for uh, level up purposes. So, and what I'm doing here is I'm doing the plus 50% experience because I'm going to be doing this a lot. So I don't want to just go through and click all of these because they're not going to give me the bonuses that I need, right? Plus 50% experience can be a lot if you're doing it on uh, for this kind of thing. Especially early on. Alright, we didn't have too many darks this time around. So we'll go ahead and hit that. Which will at least take us up to level 17. And we got 125% great success. Which even gives us more bonus experience on top of that already. Uh, uh, plus 50%. So, pretty good stuff there. That's at least a good jumping ground when we go in and start farming for levels, right? Okay. Now let's get back in here and take a look and see what we got. So that's kind of like what we're doing here with this strategy, is uh, we're slowly working down. We, we've used a little bit so far, not a whole lot just yet. Um, Alright, so we got one extra fodder for a uh, five-star level up. Um, I will go ahead and power these guys up. I just don't want them to sit at level one, because if they sit at level one, then in my head, I'm thinking that... Uh, I'm gonna use them for fodder and I don't want to use them for fodder so I'm just gonna use one one level 3 dragon on each of these stuff each of these guys that I don't want to uh, use for fodder and forget about all right let's work our way through here good stuff good stuff uh, Cupid we'll go ahead and level up the Cupid I'm still on the fence about this if I need one, like one last five star, I might consider it. It is just a really, it's a its a pretty good dragon, so. And uh, I'll go ahead and level this guy up. Uh, I used up all my dark types already, so I'll use something I have a lot of, which is usually one of your base elements. I wouldn't use a light to power this guy up, simply for the fact that uh, I have so few of those, and if I want to level up a light dragon, that I'm going to need, so. All right, and then we're gonna go down here and take a look at all this stuff. All right, so right there, Earth Dragon is used for Dark Nyx, okay? So that tells me I need to keep this guy because I have uh, an Earth 
uh, Clown Dragon already, but I really like him as a single target attacker. Uh, all the Joker uh, or Clown Dragons are like that. I like to keep them uh, because they're great single target attackers. So I needed a second one for this right here. Uh, but then this guy right here, so the water one isn't used for anything. So we'll go ahead and unlock him. And as well as these other guys, uh, he's used for a combination, but it's combination for a dragon that we already unlocked. However, what is he used for? Oh, that's, that's weird. All right, well, let's go check that out right fast. It says he's... We can make... Ah, okay. So we, we pulled another one for uh, for the Frost Dragon. So he's one of our combination guys who we've been trying to level up stuff for. But now we have him, so we might unlock these guys as well and use them uh, for other things. So we could use them for uh, turning five stars into whatever... It's kind of a shame after putting all that effort into leveling them up just for you to pull the dragon that they were supposed to make. Alright, not that one. That one, that one. There we go. So we'll go ahead and unlock that one. I know, again, a five star max level, and he's also like powered all the way up. I don't know. We'll, we'll go ahead and lock him back. Uh, that'll be something I'll have to debate probably offline uh, because I've put all this effort into him is if he's going to be worth uh, ruining at this point and uh, seeing what we can do with him there uh, however we can uh, we might do some skill ups or something so I don't want to I don't want to quite unlock this one yet if we're going to use him for skill ups for the other one that we have max level uh, Wonder Dragon, again, also uh, used for skill-ups. Um, this guy here. Let's see. What do we have for our tanks? For our water type here. Mainly for Tower of Test, right? So, always got to go back and think about that. Oh, we have the Water, water Wonder Dragon, who we kind of use for our tank pretty regularly in Tower of Tests. Oh, goodness. Who is, uh, he's pretty good. Uh, but we might, we might need another one. So we'll go ahead and skip him as well for now. Alright, uh, go ahead and unlock this guy here. And, uh, this guy here. Not much of a fan of support types. Alright, and then we got another of the, uh, the clown dragons who we need for com combining. So we'll keep that one locked. Go ahead and unlock this guy here. We don't need any more water attackers definitely good on defense types for earth so unlock them all right so that frees us up there in some stuff so and again what I was saying I'm trying to uh, evolve some dragons so that way I can unlock the diamonds for them right so let's see we'll go in here and take a look who do we have that we've never powered up before let's see hurricane dragon have we done that is that one of the ones? You're not Hurricane, are you? No, Sura and Cytale. Okay, so yeah, we'll go ahead and power up this Hurricane Dragon. So we'll go in here to level up, and again, I'm going to go through and pick out three stars that you're going to give you the 50% experience buff. And, uh, and this is just going to help you cut down on your time for, uh, for leveling. And it's asking me if I want to keep them because they're used for com uh, combining later on. And I do not want to, so. Because I, most of these, uh, anything that is combining that uses three stars, I've already completed. So, all right, there we go. So we used up all those, power that guy up a pretty good amount, all the way up to 31 there. All right, and now, so we're we're still over the limit though, so we gotta keep working and lowering this stuff. We'll go ahead and evolve this guy just while we're here thinking about it. With a little animation, sound effects. I forget that they have sound effects for this type of thing. 
just because I've always got it muted whenever I'm playing, especially like in public and stuff. Alright, so then we're going to move down here. Um, so I've already got this guy, uh, three star, powered up, so we're going to rank him up. Use, uh, use this, this, and this, I guess. Turn him into a four star. So now he's fodder that we can also evolve. So we're going to have to go in and farm some of these guys before we use him. So turn him into his adult form, get the diamonds, and then we'll use him to turn a four star into a five star. So see see the strategy now? Does it start to make sense for you? Oh, and here is the uh, the healer that we got for our uh, our team. So we want to turn this guy into a five star simply for the fact that um, we we just need him. So he's going to be a priority to to level up to a five star as well as uh, probably the Xmas Dragon. Goodness, we got so much stuff today. Let's see, Volt, we can go ahead and uh, unlock Volt, I think. Good, unlock this guy. Uh, Tigress, yeah, we'll go ahead and un unlock Tigress, that's fine. Uh, unlock the Chameleon. I do have the, uh, the Earth type, just because he gives the uh, like every set duration you get a free mana so for my uh, earth team uh, fairy dragon we'll go ahead and unlock that we'll unlock this guy as well because we're going to turn around and immediately same with this guy we're going to use these for skill up so uh, jump back over to the fairy here go to skill up so boom do that and start powering these guys up i don't feel so bad about using four stars for skill ups like I do with the five stars. You can get the skill up slimes uh, pretty easily. Uh, I buy them in the, the, the gem store every day when they're when I, when they show up. It's like seven, eight hundred diamonds per but I feel like seven, eight hundred diamonds is cheaper than uh, wasting my time on three stars, turning them into four stars and um, and even then, you know, you can't really use those for skill ups. So it's cheaper to buy the the four star skill ups in, in a diamond form than trying to purchase the exact dragon that you need. So for the skill up. All right, and we'll go ahead and unlock this one as well, and use that one for a skill up. And uh, and all the while, we're clearing out our dragon inventory. All right, so then we got. There, our light healer there, who's way up here in the front. Let's see. Oh, he's max skill level. So there, there is a couple options here. Uh, not necessarily stuff I condone, but what I could do is I could transfer. So I go to skill transfer, click on this guy, and for 1,400 diamonds, it'll take one of his skills down and put it over here into this guy. Okay then you start weighing the cost of is it worth it because I can then turn around and skill this guy right back up with the one we have so or I use that other one as fodder so that's kind of a debate there of what to do um, I think this is the one I've been skilling up yeah so there we go use that and it's 40,000 gold which isn't anything so that's fine so then we can go over here to skill transfer and transfer a skill. Uh, I'm doing pretty well on diamonds right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it. It's kind of expensive. It's more expensive than if I would just bought a four-star uh, skill slime. But this way, I'm not wasting uh, potential skill up. So now I can come in here, grab this guy, and use him, and boom. So if you ever run into that issue where uh, you get a, a second or you get an extra uh, of a dragon right so his skills are max and you're like well I don't want to just waste this I mean this was a potentially a skill up you can transfer your skill to another one and then use that skill up so it is kind of pricey on the diamonds but at least diamonds is something that you can get pretty easy in this game so all right so going back down here all right, look and see what we got. So he's ready for for skill up. All right, we got the Wonder Dragon here. Go ahead and unlock him. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do this here. 
So I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep this guy as a. Uh, he is a defense type for uh, for fire. I have the uh, the knight uh, dragon as a tank as well. But it doesn't hurt to have two tanks. So and this guy just looks super cool. He got like the Hellboy horns going and stuff here. So we'll go ahead and start skilling him up. I know it's almost. It's not necessarily a waste, but all these skill ups on this guy. That's done. He's locked. And then our Dark Wonder Dragon. Go find him. Skill him up. There we go. Alright. Now we're down to 133. We're almost in that, that good area where we can start farming again. Let's, uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish this guy off here, I think. making sure to use these guys here all right so he's almost there but I'm gonna go ahead and click the level up because we might get the 125 all right we didn't but if you get the the super success like that the great success then you'll go ahead and you could finish it off without wasting any extra so all right there we go so he's done he's at max level now we'll scoop back down here to the lower levels. Um, go ahead and unlock our extra there so we can skill up this one using that one that we got. Very, very cool stuff. Super excited for this dragon. Hopefully it hopefully it does well. Although we you know we did pull uh, that other fire AoE attacker, but it's good to have options. And it's the Xmas dragon. I mean that's like such a you know not very often dragon to be able to get so you feel like it should be really good right all right what else we got here uh, go ahead and let's see all right so we check so we have one already for this guy and he's leveled up so we can go ahead and unlock him moving on alien dragons I'm not a fan of the alien dragons at all this guy we can unlock. This guy we can unlock. Alright, and that's it for the four stars it's looking like. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and level this one up. Let's see, what do we got here? Like, there we go. We'll go ahead and do that. We have plenty. I know it's kind of overkill to, to level that one up. but And then we can rank up using the gray ones uh, because they don't... You can't raise their, uh, they, they have just the one state. They don't get older or anything like that. So then we can evolve that into the adult form. And boom. Unlock more diamonds just like that. Just because clearing out our book here. So then we've got all these guys right here who are, uh, once they're at the red, dra once they're in the red star state, then they're, get rid of them, okay? Uh, because you don't need to take these up to a four star, level them up, because they're not gonna evolve anymore. So then you're gonna want to take something else. All right, so we need to farm some low tier on him. So we're gonna save him until we can turn him into an adult dragon as well. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on and we're gonna find a three star that we haven't uh, evolved before. So. Uh, I think I've evolved her before because I've made him in the past. Yeah. So we'll skip that one. We'll go to something we haven't uh, evolved before. So go ahead and uh, level this one up. So again, finding the right element. Using, unfortunately, three stars to power up here. You don't want to use up everything, though. So that's where the this video kind of starts to come to an end here is you're eventually going to get to the point where you're under uh, your max but you don't want to go just right to uh, the bottom right or you don't want to use up everything or and you also don't want to stop like I'm just barely under my 110 right at this point if I farm and I get a bunch of uh, 
unknown eggs that are going to give me a bunch of one and two star stuff, then I'm going to fill up instantly again. So I'm going to keep working it down a little bit more, probably another 20 or so. I have a bunch of extra here, so go ahead and rank up using those ones. These guys here, yes, they're adult dragons, but they're babies, so it's all good. Boom, there we go. So she's a four star now. Oh, not quite that. We'll evolve her. Oh, we can't evolve her. Okay. But she's in that state now where we can... Uh, I'll go ahead and lock her just so I don't mistakenly use her as fodder. Uh, where we can power her up. Once we get her to adult dragon form, then we send her on our way and use her for fodder. So then you want to find that... Uh, so we got a bunch of earth and water left here. We could probably do one more earth dragon. We'll take uh, him all the way up. We'll try to at least. To uh, level 30 and then evolve him. Yeah, I know how I said I needed the volt. But I don't necessarily need to. Great success. There we go. See? And it took him up to max level even though he had still like over half a bar left. So we didn't have to waste another one. And I'm sure we can't evolve. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need to farm a lot of low tier low tier essences here. I'm gonna unlock him so I don't again make the same mistake. Rank up. So we've got this is all the three stars that we have left here, okay? So we have some water, we have some lights, uh, but not a whole lot. I'm going to go ahead and use them just to get them out of here so I don't stake that. Go ahead and use these guys as well because I've turned these into adult dragons in the past, so uh, they don't need to sit in my inventory for me to waste time with. There we go. So then we've got these guys here who we need to turn into adult dragons so that way we can use this fodder. Alright, so now we're at 84 out of 110. This is a pretty comfortable uh, space to sit at because now we can go in and start farming adventure mode. And in farming adventure mode, what we're going to do is take all these three stars here, well not all of them, but like two at a time or so, uh, raise them all the way up to level 30, and then we'll use our extras here to uh, turn them into uh, four stars. Okay. So what you want to do is count in your head here. So we've got, if we did two uh, up to level 30, we're going to need six three stars, okay, to uh, to rank them up to four. Then that that takes out them. Then if we did another one, we would need three more, and then we're going to have one little extra left over here, all right? Also, we don't want to forget about these guys down here that we have, so... Technically, if I wanted to, I could use one of those three stars because we have it left over and we don't need it for rank up or anything. Uh, I could use that as fodder for experience. So, but we have all these four stars to work with, which is super nice. All right, we already started on him, but I really feel like I should have gone somewhere else. What was I looking at? Who did I need? Come on, guys, tell me. That guy. So I should have been leveling up this one in the beginning. That was my mistake. So I'm going to take one of these random uh, three stars that we're going to have left over, and I'm going to go ahead and boom. Use that for experience. And I did have one more skill up I could have done. With the, the chameleon here, we'll go down and find our earth one. There he is. We'll skill him up. So that is how I manage my inventory. After I do a big summon, and my, I'm, I'm over budget, like, so much there, uh, and I need to work them down, that's kind of how I manage it. Unfortunately, I know I said in my, uh, like, my intro guide, you don't want to use your three stars uh, for experience fodder, but in some, certain situations, you have to. Like, just now, I can't do any content until that is done. Uh, until my inventory is cleared out and the only way to clear your inventory out is basically to use them as fodder or to farewell them which I do not recommend doing on a lousy uh, three star you're just not gonna run into many situations where you need to do that uh, I guess maybe I could have done it with the, the witch dragons uh, farewell all my witch dragons to uh, enhance my uh, where is she my earth one 
So if you saw my guide where I talk about beating the game because of the uh, Earth Witch Dragon, if you haven't, I recommend checking it out. Uh, very cool stuff. So my I could have come in here and enhanced if I had farewelled them and powered her up even more. And you can see the the stat increases here. So it is a pretty good amount. It's worth enhancing if you have the stuff. Um, unfortunately, you have to give up dragons for that. And it, even if you give up one or three, you still might not have enough to make one enhanced level. So enhancing is definitely some some final in-game level powering up of your dragons. But yeah, so now after our egg hatching and our managing of our inventory, we have all these nice four stars to uh, to work with here. So we're going to start powering them up, starting to farm adventure mode, uh, getting them to max level, and uh, turning them into five stars. Uh, we did. We were able to make our one uh, six star today, which was pretty nice. So always, always a good good day when you can make a make a six star. But I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you if you were having some uh, some second thoughts on what to do with those three stars. I know it feels kind of bad turning them uh, into just experience fodder, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So, uh, if you liked the video, please like it, and if you made it this far and you haven't already, uh, subscribe to the channel. I'll keep putting out a Dragon Village in video every week uh, for the foreseeable future. There's still plenty of things in this game that I can cover and help you guys out with. Uh, I definitely plan on playing this game for quite some time. I've been playing it for... Oh goodness, months and months and months and months and months. So I think I'm coming up on a year here very soon. And there's still so much content that I haven't done yet that I want to get to. So uh, it's definitely a game worth playing. All right, well, with that, I guess we'll see you in the next video.